YouTube X Caps here from Take Apps Tutorials. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on CC lens, which um, you just saw the effect with that kind of circle thing, like blowing out from nowhere. Um, so let's get started. I want to go to comp. What the heck? Composition, new composition. If you want to pause it and um, see my settings. Drag in your clip. Um, right click, go up to time, enable time remapping. Um, to make this as good as possible, you will need one plugin. It's, you don't need it to do the effect, but it makes it look a uh, crop load better. All right, so um, now that we have that done, go to the wow, what the heck? Go to the point in time where you want it to like come out. Which in this case is like right where he shoots. Alright, so um when when you get to the point in time you're going to want to split the layer. Wait, no. No oh fail, come on, I was just there. Alright. Don't hurt. We'll go to a point in time. See right here. Then edit split layer. And what this would do, it'll make two layers. And this is the time I was already remap um remapped or whatever. Alright. So the first one you're not going to do nothing to. The second one you want to go to effect. This is where the plugin comes in. Effect Revision Plugin Twixter. All right. All right. Effects. Effects. Twixter. Output Control. The first one. Check the stopwatch. Wait, not Smart Blend. Or Speed. First one, check the stopwatch and change the speed to, well, no, leave it at 100. Go one, two frames forward, check the diamond, and change it to three. Go to where you want it to end, which is why we enable time remapping to stretch it out. So, wow. Um, I'll leave it at there. Then go back down. Press the diamond, the keyframe maker. Go a few frames forward. Make another one. Change the speed of that one back to 100. Um, go one. Motion sensitivity zero. Make sure the input frame rate is the same as the. Um, beginning one is basically that uh, smart blend alright scroll up and here you're going to want to check this dag and make sure it's like that alright that's it with twixter so now we're actually going to apply the CC lens which is the actual effect so go to the beginning of this alright go to the effects and prefect presets tab over here if you don't have it go to window effects and presets over here type in cc space lens and drag it on there uh, forgot which one goes on top no homo um 
CC, I mean, Twixter has to go on the top of it. So, I don't know why. It just has to. So, at the beginning, which is right around there, uh, there, um, change the size to uh, around 90. Alright, then, what I like to do, because I like to see the kill feed curved, as you saw in the beginning, is that I like to go in around here and make a. S oh, wait, oh, fail. I didn't make keyframes. Alright, check the stopwatch. Go forward. I like to make it about. Uh, let me go down, minimize Twixter, what the heck, minimize Twixter, open up CC lens, make a keyframe, this one, make it about 200, that's why everything, that way everything is curved around the edges then I just like to zoom this really far out and then make another keyframe and change that one to the highest which is 500 um... so yeah that's basically it that's CC lens for you it's not really it's not really hard at all. It's, it does take a little time to render because a lot of stuff. So, yeah, that's basically it. Sub me, TechCaps tutorial. I do more tutorials on my channel and uh, XCap saying, well, I will play the final product again for you at the end. Yeah, uh, this is XCap saying goodbye. I'm gonna